Good evening, Council. Good evening, Paul. My name is Paul Herring. I reside at 525 Mason Street. I'm here for three reasons tonight. I need to talk about three things, so I'm going to be as quick as I possibly can, although each of these items really need more detail. I'm going to give you what I can in the time allotted. The first issue that I'd like to uh, bring, it's not even an issue, it's an event, the Kwanzaa Celebration uh, is being hosted again at Christ Enrichment Center. Uh, we'll be there the 26th of December through January 1st. I need to thank uh, Councilman Kincaid, uh, Sheldon Neely, Carolyn Sims, and even Davida Donahue for their financial support of this year's celebration. I hadn't had a chance to approach the rest of you, but I certainly will and give you the opportunity to do the same. I want to, uh, I want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you to come out and celebrate Kwanzaa. It's truly a time to reflect and rejoice. And with the activities that will be taking place in, on January 20th of this year, I think we have even more of a reason to celebrate. The second thing I need to bring up is I need to uh, congratulate Trachelle Young. Recently, Comcast has filed a lawsuit against Comcast. So the city of Flint now is in the fight, officially in the fight to save public access. So I need to thank her and those who have supported her in doing that and getting on board with, uh, with this. It's a long time coming, but we're now in the game and we're officially doing something about public access. With that said, I'd like you guys, perhaps, to consider forming a committee that could keep you abreast of the things you need to know regarding public access, the lawsuit, and the things that are going on here in your community. The last thing that I'd like to talk to you about, and I couldn't help but when I was listening to um, Jackie talk about the youth in the city and the young lady that came before me, um, the inauguration of President-elect Obama is January 20th. Wouldn't it be a wonderful idea if each one of you hosted a viewing party wouldn't it be a wonderful idea if each one of you invited the youth in your wards to come to this viewing party? And wouldn't it be a wonderful idea that at this viewing party, you asked them questions and opened a dialogue? Don't miss this opportunity, guys. A new day has come. And if we don't grab it and seize it, no one will. The door is open. <coughs> Put your foot in it. Kick it the rest of the way open. Use this as an opportunity to open a dialogue and save this city. It's that easy. Maybe not in each one of your wards. Why couldn't we go out to showcase cinema and have three of the screens showing the inaugurations and, and a third one for a conference room for a summit so we could talk about the things we need to do in enlisting these kids in making a difference? We've got churches abundant, 635 churches in the city of Flint, 10 people from each church could make a difference, a combined effort. It's just a thought. It's just an idea. Maybe it's outside the box. Maybe it's outside your realm. But when do we start thinking outside the box? Because the box we're in right now, it ain't working. And it's a tight fit for all of us, egos included. Let's take advantage of what we've been dealt and use it to better our community. Now, with that said, I'm done. Except to say this, in all things purely social, we can be as separate as the fingers, yet one as the hand in all things beneficial to our mutual progress. Thank you much. Thank you very much, Mr. Herring. Thank you very much. And the next and